guys, it's Serena from Small Things and it feels like I've not filmed a video in a very long time but I actually filmed one last Friday which was on my birthday and I kind of showed you a few of the things I got for my birthday and it was planning to be like a birthday vlog but um, it turned out just to be me telling you what I got from my immediate family but I actually forgot to show you a few things um, because when my friends came around it was kind of not filmable so if you would like to see my birthday haul then comment below or like this video and um, I'll put it up after this um, but um, quite a while ago I asked you for some questions and I've got them written down here and there's not too many um, but I thought I would show my face and tell you I'm still alive and I actually wanted to show you my hair which I did this morning um, I hope it's going to show up it's purple and blue now this isn't permanent or anything, um, but if you watch Candy J Candy Johnson on YouTube, then she did a hair chalking video, and um, for like the past few months, I've been really getting bored with my hair, and I really wanted to dye the bottom, like dip dye the bottom turquoise, because um, I've had that done before, but it went green. And when I saw the video, I was like, that is perfect, because it only lasts until you wash it out. So I tried it this morning, and it is. I mean you can see it but it has faded out since um, I dried it and it's really 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 like dry it feels like straw um, so I'm not sure how often I'll be doing it because it's really really messy it gets like I'm touching it now and it's getting on my hands so yeah um, let's get into the questions number one what age did I start wearing makeup I actually didn't really start wearing makeup until like year 10 in high school. I'm not sure what grade that is in America, but I was about age, uh, how old are you when you leave school? You're 16 when you leave school, so I would have been about 15. Um, before that, I probably wore like a bit of mascara, but I never ever thought about makeup or anything. I wasn't interested in it um, because a lot of the people in my school who I didn't like were obsessed with the foundation, the orange lines, and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So, um, about year 10, I got like um, a tinted, well, I borrowed like my mum's tinted moisturiser and I wore that for a bit. And that's why my makeup for prom was atrocious because I did my own makeup and I didn't know anything like about anything that I know now. Um, so, yeah, um, I started wearing makeup probably about 15 years old, maybe a bit of mascara and a bit of tinted moisturiser, but no concealer, no, I don't know, eyeshadow or anything like that. But we weren't allowed to wear like extreme makeup for school anyway. Um, number two, do I own any Apple products? Yes, I have a iPhone 4S. And I also have an iPod Classic, which is downstairs at the moment. Um, when will I do a room tour? Um, well, my room is nowhere near finished. Um, I know it looks kind of done, but um, taking this wallpaper off... I'm re-wallpapering that wall, I'm painting that wall, I've got to just take out the built-in wardrobe there, wallpaper that wall, paint that wall, change the curtains, get new furniture, so it's going to be a process and trust me when it is done I'm going to be tr so want to show you anyway, so just bear with me, it's going to take a while because obviously it's a lot, it's, it's quite a bit of money and we don't have any at the moment, so it's going to take a little while with three do I want kids and how many I do want kids but it's all kind of really up to life isn't it got to find somebody first to have children with and that person may not want kids or they may want less kids than I do or more kids than I do I at most I would have two um, but I think we'd go with one at the beginning and see how that goes um, and then there is the um, labour which nobody wants to do so um yeah that bit of hair there is really doing my head in okay um three what is my favourite makeup brand I don't really have a favourite makeup brand because I don't know like I just buy this and that usually cheap stuff um but I would say kind of my overall products that I have most of one brand would be sleek because they're really cheap and they're really really good quality. Uh, da, 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 da. What is my favourite hairstyle? Well 
if you look through most of my videos my hair is just down and my hair is naturally very straight so it's usually just down and straight but for the past two weeks I've been kind of curling out the front and the bottom with um, my straighteners um, if you want to see a review on my straighteners I'll link it here um, and that is what I'm doing with my hair recently um, how do I get clear skin okay I do not have clear skin it may look like it from distance since away but if I get closer you're gonna get scared but at the moment my face is pretty clear but I have like here and here I have um, acne scars so it looks like spots but they're actually there's actually nothing there it's just flat and they're just like red marks from past past spots um, and unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that I mean I exfoliate it I use whatever nothing really works so I'm just gonna have to get a better concealer because about three hours into the day you can see them um, I mean you can see them probably now let's not get any closer um, da -da -da -da. why did I start making oh yeah why did I start making YouTube videos um, so long ago I actually can't remember I think I was the, the video that I think most people actually say they're looking for when, before they started is how to scrunch hair because, like I say, my hair is very straight and I got so bored with it. Oh, I've got five minutes left. Um, so I was looking at how to scrunch it. My hair is unscrunchable. I've tried so many times, it is unscrunchable. My hair is too heavy, too straight, it hates me. Um, but then I thought, oh, that looks like it, like, kind of fun, and that was the kind of time when I was changing my nail designs, like, every two days, and I was obsessed, and I thought, I could do a nail channel, that would be quite cool, so I think my first video was leopard print nails, and then, as I was watching other people's videos, I was like, well, I could talk about this, and I could talk about that, and I could show a haul, and I've just been shopping, I might want to show what I bought, so it just kind of progressed from there, and hi, um, how did I learn to do makeup? I'm not very good at makeup. Um, that's why most of my tutorials have now been deleted or privated or they're all really crap. Um, because I I just do the same thing every day really. Just like brown and then darker brown and mascara. Um, but I guess it was through YouTube. Like I've learned lots of stuff that I didn't know. Um, kind of like in high school about how to do this and how to do that and just kind of making your face healthier and etc so it really was through YouTube and just watching other people how to do it how did I learn to be so crafty uh, I don't really think that's something you can learn and I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm crazily crafty I mean I did make these um, oh, these moustache cushions which are at the end of my bed and um, I made a box if you follow me on Instagram there'll be pictures of the box on there um, so yeah um, and I do I just enjoy making stuff and um, yeah I just enjoy it so it's usually like if you don't enjoy something then you won't be you probably not very good at it because I don't think there's a lot of things that you are really really good at that you don't enjoy doing uh, it's just one of those things why don't I go to university? Um, I don't go to university because at the time when we were kind of looking into universities and um, what signing up and stuff like that, doing UCAS, I had no idea what I wanted to do and every single course that I looked at at every single uni I was not interested in and I just thought even if I was slightly interested in it, I went to look around a few unis and um, I thought I couldn't do this for three years I would get bored out of my mind um, and I really didn't want to spend a lot of money and then come out maybe maybe drop it after the first year or come out after the third year and go waste of time I mean I know everyone's like oh the social life but if you know me and you you yeah then I aren't I aren't I'm not really the type of person who likes to go out like and like get drunk and stuff so I probably would have been like a right drag at uni anyway so it, it, it'll all work out eventually but that's why I don't go uh, next question 
have I ever been to the US? I have been to America, um, I've been to... Uh, oh, I can never remember the names. Okay, first of all, when I went, this isn't America, I went to Canada, and then I went from Canada to Michigan. Michigan's in America, right? Or is that Canada still? Well, I've been to America and I've been to Canada, and um, because my auntie was living in America for a while, so we went over to visit them and my cousins, and we also, the one place I remember we went to in America was a place called Hell and it's like a really, 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 really small town and it's basically got one shop in it, you drive past the shop and then you back out of Hell and the shop is kind of like a Halloween-y, you've been to Hell tourist attraction, um, it's so cool, I can be like, yeah, I've been to Hell, I've been to Hell. Um, am I closer to my mum, my sister or my dad? Um... I would say that I'm kind of close to them all the same, maybe my mum like a teeny bit more, but kind of the same, um, like I can feel I can tell any of them the same stuff, so I guess it would be all three of them. Do I like living in the UK? Um, I know that a lot of people who don't live in the UK think that everybody who lives in the UK is hates the UK, if that makes any sense, because of the weather, but it's it's one of those things that's kind of over dramatized it's not really that bad um for the past i mean in the past it has rained a shit ton but the past two years it's not been that bad really and we've actually had some quite nice summers i mean it's not always the nicest quite right now it's kind of dull but there is a blue sky um so if you just take the weather out of the equation of england i do like living here um, it's not horrible and it's, I mean, it's not like amazing because it's a bit boring, but we have, oh shit, I've run out of time. Yeah, I, d I don't mind living here. I don't really think about it that much. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, last question. Who are my favourite YouTubers? Um, this is really hard because I'm subscribed to a lot of people. But my favourite subscribers are probably um, Fluffy Talks. I'll link them all below if you want to go and check them out. Fluffy Talks, um, What the Book, um, Rach Three Kins, Amelia R Makeup. It's back. Um, I'm gonna feel like I'm missing people out. Um, who do I like watching? You know what, I'm just going to link people below because I'm so bad at remembering names. So that's all the questions and this has probably been an incredibly boring video but I just wanted to say hi, I'm still alive and if you would like to see my birthday haul video then comment below or, well the first person who comments it just like that comment and then I'll see how many people want it, if you know what I mean. And I will see you hopefully very soon. I haven't got anything planned so request below because I'm losing my marbles. Okay.